Ah. Uh, e one of my favorite parts to work on in any video game is the voices, mostly because they offer so much personality and they're so dynamic. However, voices also can be fairly make or break for a game, depending on how you approach it. But this doesn't mean that you need full voice acting for your video game. Plenty of games like Celeste, Banjo-Kazooie, Undertale, and as we'll go over in this video, Animal Crossing, all created virtual voice systems that make it work for their game. So in this video, I'm going to recreate Animal Crossing's dialogue system in Unity. So why don't we pull up Animal Crossing New Horizons and check it out. Okay, so let's pull up the text box. Yeah, so it seems like there's just some very slight differences between a lot of these sounds like T and D and even G. They all sound really, really similar. Yeah, like B and V almost sound indistinguishable from each other. They don't sound exactly as you'd expect though. Like the J sound doesn't sound like a J and the K kind of sounds like a K, but it only has like the, the A sound at the end. It doesn't really have the hard K sound with it. Let's listen to what Isabel sounds like. <laughs> I always love how she's always doing something else. It also seems like they don't play every single letter. They play a lot of them, but it seems like they might skip every other letter or something like that. Oh, she's my favorite character. Okay, cool. So we have a really good starting point for our sounds. I say that we just go ahead and start recording and we'll get a test run going in Unity. So for every voice clip, I'm basically just gonna record every letter of the alphabet and maybe a few other types of voice lines here and there. I uh, e I J. Now let's take these sounds, process them, and put them into Unity. Ah, uh, B. So it looks like we have a voice clip for every single letter of the alphabet. So now we just need to pop this into Unity. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Mix and Jam who made this Unity project. They have a YouTube channel where they recreate systems from video games like the God of War Axe Recall and the Animal Crossing dialogue system. And they also put all of the projects up on GitHub for free. I highly recommend you check out the videos. They're super awesome, super educational, and you can learn a lot from them. So to tie into Mix and Jam's Unity project, we're also going to be using Wise to create our dynamic audio system. If you want to make your audio any easier in your project, we actually have a free course on the Blip Sounds website where we teach some Wise with Unity. It's a super valuable tool for anybody that wants to make their life easier with the audio in their game. So pretty simply, I just added all of the audio clips into a random container in Wise, and then I put this to one event that makes them play all randomly. Popped open the dialogue audio script provided by Mix and Jam, and went down to this section that says character is letter. And I just wrote out our line of code for the AK Sound Engine post event. So now anytime a new character shows up in the text, it's just going to play a random sound. Okay, so right away I can tell that the speed of the text is going a little bit too fast. So I think the first step is going to be slowing it down. So this sounds pretty good, but I think it's a little bit too randomized. So I think I'm going to try and map every single letter to its appropriate voice line. So then we can click on all of these together and select one event per object. We're just going to create unique play events for each of these. And then we can see that each of these have their own event. And then for the programming side of things, I initially had it so that it was gonna be a switch statement that changed based off which letter it was that shows up. But now I made it so that it just takes an argument from this function based off of what it's reading from this listener up here. And let's see how this turns out. This is the, this is exact, <laughs> this is pretty much exactly what I wanted out of this actually. This, this exact pitch and it, it's time to the letters. This is so awesome. Oh, it's, that's actually really, really good. So now that the system works to our liking, let's try and make some more villager sounds. While it's not exactly efficient, I really like the idea of turning my friend's voices into Animal Crossing voices. So let's go ahead and do that. I, J, K, L, N, O, F, H, I, J, K, I, J, I, J, K, L, Thank 
thanks so much for watching everybody. If you learned something, let me know in the comments what you learned and what you liked most about the video. And make sure to like the video as well if you enjoyed it. And if you're looking for more videos, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon. We do a video every single Friday, and in the next few weeks I think we're gonna do some sort of Final Fantasy sound, so that should be fun. Also, we post a little bit more regularly on Twitter if you all want to follow us there. It's just at Blip Sounds, you can find it in the description below. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you next Friday.